we're gonna eat, we're gonna drink, and we're gonna get tattooed. I'm joined in studio by a very interesting man. He is the man behind food, booze, and tattoos, three things that I could get on board with. He's here today to tell us what we can expect from the ninth episode. Hello. Hi, how are you? Thanks Good. for having how me are here. You? Thank you for coming in. Pleasure. I love seeing you in all of your tattooed glory. I just wish you brought some food and booze for me. And some shorts to see my legs with yes. all them tattoos as well. <laughs> <laughs> Food, booze, and tattoos is mm. on its ninth episode. Well, it's yeah. showing its ninth episode tonight. tonight. What was going through your mind when you thought, hey, I'm going to travel all around, I'm going to show everyone South Africa, and I'm going to drink, eat, and get tattoos while I'm at it? First, I couldn't believe how lucky I was. I thought this was ridiculous. Like, how can I possibly um, get paid to go through the country and travel and eat delicious food and drink delicious booze and get amazing tattoos? So that's what I was thinking. It sounds like being getting paid to be on vacation. Uh, slightly more painful. <laughs> and also like nine people in one quantum is not really a vacation. Yeah, that's true. It is work. <laughs> it's work at the end of the day. Now you've got six tattoos throughout the duration of the shoot. Can you just show us them quickly? I can show you five out of the six. Okay. Unless I take my pants off. Um, oh, wow. It could, it could go there. <laughs> is that allowed? No. <laughs> um, so I got, that's the first one, which is a little tattoo roulette, uh, which essentially you put your designs into a hat and you pull them out and that's what you get. And so... Wow, that's very brave of you. I've got th three of those. Of tattoo here. roulette? Mm, yeah. Have you ever gotten one that you're like, mm, I have to get it because I'm playing tattoo roulette, but I really hate it? There is like a small... You're allowed to cheat a little bit where you have three other options. Okay. But they're usually terrible. So it's a popcorn, a carrot, and in my this case, it was a cat dog. So that's why I got cat dog. I know it's faded a little bit. It's super painful there. Oh, but cat and dog are cute. They are cute, hey? Yeah. Um, and then I got, oh, I got this fish um, wow. from a guy called Doc in, uh, at Lola Malone in Durban, who is one of the most impressive tattoo artists and impressive philosophical, creative young men I've ever met. It was amazing to meet him and get tattooed by him. Mm. And then I got uh, from a Cape Tonian guy, um, Ninja Bird Boy, I got this uh, hand poke tattoo. Um, it was actually, oh, it's on the episode tonight, yeah. uh, I get this one. And it was on his family farm in um, Swellendam, I think, and we were just on a, a beer bench and he had made his needle and tattooed me um, just in the, on the farm, in the garden, which was very bizarre, but really awesome. It sounds bizarre. Yeah, it was super cool. I loved it. Mm. Um, then I got one of my thigh, which I can't show you. Um, and I got this piece over here, which is done by Tamar Thorne. Um, wow. At Body Architects, I'm actually getting another tattoo from her tomorrow, wow. um, which I'm petrified of. And finally, I got this one, which is uh, like a wolf, a wolf girl, um, by Manuela Gray. All great tattoos, even the cat dog. Even, oh, thank. Even thank, the cat even dog. The cat dog. Even oh, thank the cat you. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> what food do you just die for? Does your mouth water? You wish you could go back mm. and eat that delicate meal again a delicate meal there weren't so many delicate meals um delicate <laughs> delicate would have been the um, buffalo mozzarella from uh, buffalo ridge mozzarella mm. uh, a remarkable farm super super happy buffalo cows everywhere i think they're called buffalo cows mm. uh, and just wandering around and having fun and relaxing and eating and super happy and the milk that they make is yeah. makes the most incredible mozzarella and uh, I think it's actually in stores now, which is very cool. I'm very happy for them. Um, I had a great burger at the bench in George. And you're making uh, me hungry. I know, I know. It was the, the patty was laid open and then the cheese inside and then you close the patty so the cheese inside and then beautiful roasted onion and um, yeah, very, very good. I love that place actually. What's your most memorable booze moment from this season? <sighs> he comes to mind, first of all, um, and also happens to be in tonight's episode is a guy called uh, Roger Jorgensen mm. and he's out in I think it's in Wellington and um, he makes incredible alcohols um, the the one that he's most famous for is called Field of Dreams I think which is an absinthe and a traditional absinthe except um, so he uses wormwood and wormwood was the was the substance which made all the artists go crazy in, in Paris all those years ago which made I think it was a green fairy, they called absinthe the green fairy. Yeah. And so he uses African wormwood, which is the only adjustment to the, refer uh, to the, um, the recipe. <laughs> How can we watch the show if we don't already know? 
So it's on SCBC 3 at 9 p.m. on Thursdays. So that's tonight. Brett, thank you very much for coming in and high five to flying that South African flag. Thank you so much. Pleasure being here.